Welcome back, Weight Watchers members, to Over 50. Uh, today, another episode of not zero point, but some very low point snacks and possible lunch breakfast ideas, and including after breakfast uh, that are really low point. And I weighed in at 192 today. So, um, you know, this has been. I'm a lifetime member. I've been doing this for a while, so I hope that this helps you. That's why I do this. So if you would, please hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. Um, hit the like button while you're at it. Comment down below if you have any questions about anything you see. Share this video with your friends out there, and let me try to run through this quickly. Um, this was what I got from my shopping trip at primarily Aldi. Um, but these are some skinny bagels. They are the... Uh, they're the Love and Fresh plant brand. Like I said, I got them from Aldi's. Um, three points each. And I don't know if you guys can see. They're not super thick. I'm trying to make sure this is in front of the camera. But, um, you know, it's just, I mean, three points for a bagel. You know, you can't beat that. Not too bad. These, I can't wait to try. Coconut, uh, cashew, uh, crisps with chocolate. These, the only bad thing about it is they're a point apiece. But... Um, you know, if you're looking for something chocolate, I mean, I saw a lot of people on the message boards, you know, like, oh my gosh, I'm craving something chocolate, something sweet. This might work for you. It's just a thought. Um, these I love. And what I love about them is they're cheese cheddar flavored. They're like Cheez-Its, but 44 crackers for three points. Yeah, 44 crackers for three points. That's 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 a nice snack right there. And if you don't want 44 crackers, just bump it down and your points drop down even more. I like Amy's soups, and this is one of my favorites. And I can't remember if I showed this last time or not. So if I did and it's a repeat, I'm sorry. So I'm going to make this fast. But this whole can is three points. And it's three points for me because I picked lentils and beans as one of my zero-point foods. Um... This is something that I found. Uh, I can't remember where I found it at, to be honest. Um, they're these pita brittles, and they are three points for an ounce. This is a five ounce bag. So basically, this whole bag is 15 points. And just so you can see what they look like, plus, I really want to try one. So um, you can see they're pretty good size. Okay. A lot of people wonder, why do I do videos like this? Well, it's kind of hard to do a picture of this. You know, I can show it to you, and you can see it. Wow. Wow, those are really good. Bourbon, vanilla, macadamia. I'm gonna to have to get me some more of these as soon as I can remember where I got them from. And then finally, another one point wine, one point per serving. Sorry, I still got a little bit of that. Um, pita brittle, um, it's yellowtail. This is their smooth red blend. And I actually did some research on this because I had to build the rest, I had to build it myself. Um, not to build the recipe, but build the, the points. This is Yellowtail's, uh, they got 26 wines. This is their sixth best. Um, and I've had it before, and I like it. It's good. I just didn't realize that it was one point. So, one point for five ounces. So, you know, I get out a measuring cup, pour in 10, 10 ounces, put that into a, a glass, and I'll watch some of the football games tonight. So, um, anyhow, those are the six things I had for you. This is going on four and a half minutes. I did want it to go that long, but that's what I get for not. Um, you know, I wanted you guys to see this is the first time I tried them. Those are really good. Um, so anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. If you would, please hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Drop comments down below. Share this video with your friends out there. And tune back for you know future videos. I'm going to try to give some perspective on how I think I might be able to help people that have just joined Weight Watchers and whatnot. But hopefully some of these low point snacks and lunches 
and breakfast you'll be able to put to use. So I'll talk to you later. Best of luck to you and um, keep your head up. Remember, you got this.